I'm assuming that you already successfully programmed this one with the Blink sketch, so you know that you are able to upload source code into the memory of the Arduino boards. In this video, we are going to connect the Arduino to the ATEM switcher. And as you can see, we have an ATEM 1ME switcher here. With Ethernet, it's connected to the Arduino through a um, network switch. And I also have my, my Mac uh, connected so we can uh, see the ATEM switcher uh, through that one. Anyway, we are going to download the uh, Arduino ATEM library from GitHub, which uh, we have produced. And this is a prerequisite for connecting the Arduino to the ATEM switcher. Let's go to GitHub. And GitHub, it, it's um, a repository on the internet where you can find source code for all kinds of open source projects. And if you make a search something like GitHub Scorehoy, then you uh, see as the first link um, my account. And if you click that, you'll see all the different GitHub projects that I'm running. I think we should have a scroll bar here. So we are going to download some more of these later, but the one we are currently interested in is this one, the Arduino library for ATEM switches. So we go there and don't worry about all these files. You could expect them if you wanted to, but you just need to do the download, download it as a zip file, and there it go into your downloads folder. So um, here's my download folder. And from the download folder, I need to move this new folder over to uh, the libraries folder in the Arduino installation directory and also rename it. So the first thing that I, I want to do is to um, give it the proper name and it's supposed to be called ATEM. How did I know that? I know it because if you look inside the library, um, you need to choose a name which matches the name ATEM, as you can see right here. And this has to be the name of the directory as well. So um, I now have my, my downloaded library. I'm going to open another window so I can browse the Arduino folder. And on a Mac, at least, it's installed on the documents. I don't know on a PC, to be honest. Um, sorry. And inside the Arduino folder, you can see we have a blank folder because we didn't install any libraries or any code yet. It's a, it's a fresh installation. And what you need to do for the first time is to um, create a new folder and you call it libraries, like that. And now you move the downloaded ATEM folder into the libraries folder. Oh, into the libraries folder. So let's just look at the structure now. We have the Arduino folder and inside Arduino we have libraries and then inside libraries we have the ATEM folder right there. So that's the first step. Download the Arduino ATEM library from GitHub. The next step is to open the Arduino environment. It was already open and if that's the case for you, you need to shut it down and reopen it. Otherwise it will not recognize the new library. So you go to examples and then you see right there we have the ATEM library, the one we just installed, and inside you see a number of test sketches and we are going to pick the one called ATEM monitor, this guy. Okay, so um, inside this sketch we need to do a few things. First, you can see that we have here the, the MAC address and the MAC address is the number printed on the back side of your Ethernet shield. Currently, it's um, hmm, on the back side of the Ethernet shield, so we either have to take it off to read it or I'll be able to read it from outside here. It says uh, 0D8245. So, and um, 0D... 82, 82, uh, 45, like that. So the next thing is the IP address. And uh, as you can see from, from down here, we, have, um, we are using typically the uh, default IP address from, um, for ATEM switches. And um, up here, I have selected 
some other IP address on the same network. So if I just upload this, we should be good. Before we upload, we need to check, is this the right board? And as you can see, yes, it is an Arduino Mega, no problem. And I can press the upload button. So it's uh, compiling the sketch and then it wants to upload and it needs to know if it can. Uh, no, it couldn't because we don't have the uh, Arduino connected to the laptop. So I need to do that. Um, luckily, I have a USB plug down the side of my Wacom digitizer and right there. And we should be able to now see the serial port up here. And you can see there USB modem TTY and this is the one we are going to select on a Mac. So we try again, upload. And it's uploading the sketch as you can see. And it's done. And there you, you have a, the Arduino program. So how do we know that it's actually working? And this is where you need to start the serial monitor. So you start the serial monitor and it looks like this. So basically what the serial monitor did, and let me just go through that. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in. No, uh, okay. So it tells us that it started communication, then it sent a connecting package to the ATEM switcher and right after that, we see some information coming from the ATEM switcher. This is cool. It indicates that we now have a connection and then it outputs like once a second, a little message telling us that there's an ongoing contact with the ATEM switcher. And this is what is needed. These two units are communicating all the time. So every second, the ATEM switcher will ask the Arduino, are you there? And you need to answer back, yes, I'm here. And if that connection is broken, uh, both devices will know it. So this is how the so-called protocol is working. The protocol is basically the language that they are talking together. Before we end, I would like to demonstrate how the command sent to the ATEM switcher from the uh, ATEM software control panel will also be communicated back to the Arduino. And let's look at um, the serial monitor again. So I open the serial monitor and normally on a Mac at least it resets the Arduino so we can see the whole connection is reinitialized and it's connected. We see that by these um, packages sent. But now I'm gonna open the ATEM software control which we have right here and I'll just take it to the side so you can see what's happening. So let's say that I'm gonna change my preview from camera one to camera two. Then when I do that, make sure you notice what happens over here. So I now press, you can see tally updated preview bus two. Aha, uh -huh. input three, four, preview bus three, four. If I do the same up here, you can see this. And now comes the funky bit, because if I ask it to make a transition between these uh, two inputs, and I can do that by pressing auto, you'll see that it, it sends a lot of packages informing the Arduino that now we are in a transition between two, the two inputs on a certain level. So make sure you're ready, and there we go. We can't see exactly what is in all these packages, but we can see that within a second or two, we receive a lot of information from the ATEM switcher. And that information is mostly about what the, the, the particular transition is. We can also see it if I, if I pull the handle. You see, each time I change the position, it tells the Arduino that this is now the new state of the ATEM switcher. So that was the confirmation of the fact that we are now able to communicate with the ATEM switcher. At least we're able to read out the states from it. And in the next videos, we are going to see how we can also send commands back to the ATEM switcher.